So recording is on. Let's share the screen with the meeting minutes. Can everyone see the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, so first thing on the agenda is questions and issues open forum. Does anyone have anything they want to discuss? What's not on the agenda? Okay, sounds like not. So we have few open PRs listed here. First one is uh, for the bridge. Paulo, I guess that's waiting for your review. Yeah, sorry, I was off yesterday. Uh, it's on my to-do list for today. Okay. Great. And then the next one is the OAuth one from Marco, where I guess the Yeah, I guess the comments from Tom Bentley are answered there. So maybe Tom, if you are with us, you can have another look. I'm just back. Is this Marco's one? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Uh, so that's the PRs which I added here. Uh, does anyone have any other PRs or issues they want to discuss? Okay, then I also added one proposal which is under discussion there. It's actually has most of the approvals. Paulo, it's just uh, you who is waiting for. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the yeah. configuration provider one. Yeah, I will review. And there's also the other one about the network policies feature gate. I actually, it's still waiting for the reviews to be incorporated. I think yesterday the, the author, he can look into it. So let's see if that moves forward. Okay, then we have some other points on the agenda. So I think we should start doing the 024 release of the operators. But before that, I think we should try to do the OAuth release. And uh, I think it is after some time, we should try to do maybe a new bridge release. We have the new UBI8 images. There's a lot of dependencies updated and so on. So I think it might be good to have a new release uh, again. <clears throat> Anything else we should we should release, or does anyone disagree with this? No, I think it's a good idea. So I guess the OAuth release would be the best one to start with because the bridge actually depends on the OAuth as well. So having it there would be good. Okay, then uh, I guess every maintainer got this email yesterday about the uh, about the project pavilions, uh, and I guess office hours uh, in KubeCon North America. Did everyone? looked into it in more detail. 
I got the email, but I've not really. Uh, I saw that it was a split virtual, physical, maybe thing, but I've not really looked into it anymore yet. Yeah, so yeah, do you want to fill in or does everyone first want to go through it? I hate these surveys because it's not really clear what's behind the next corner when you are not filling it in. So how do we want to proceed with that? I mean, I guess it's easy to say that, you know, we want to participate virtually at this point, isn't it? Well, I want to participate in person, but it might not be that easy. Yeah, that's that's the tricky thing. <laughs> okay, so no, I prefer to participate virtually, I guess. Uh-huh. Isn't it the same? Yeah, it's a bit confusing that, isn't it? What's the difference? I think they're just asking if is someone going to travel to represent Strimzy? So I guess we go for virtual again. Mm -hmm. Who knows if anyone will be able to travel or not in October. So I guess we are interested in office hours for sure. Yeah. Right. I guess we are not interested in physical booth if we prefer virtual presence. Mm -hmm. What about virtual booth? Are we interested? I guess we are, assuming we've got people to staff it. Okay, what about PR support for upcoming releases or participating in podcasts? We could do a podcast, couldn't we? Okay. I say we, that. you know, I'm not quite volunteering to do it myself. You say we and we understand you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there's plenty of time between now and October to uh, yeah. knock something together that would... Uh, any additional benefits which someone will be interested in? Don't say that because time flies, you know. I can't think of any additional benefits. Okay. Well, that's it. I thought there would be some confirmation screen, but at least we got this done. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we see what comes out of it. Uh, I know that last time I think the project booths, they were quite a big interest, so that was not much space left for sandbox projects. Okay, two-factor authentication on GitHub. I think we should switch that on for our organization. Is anyone who disagrees with that? 
No objections from me. I've been using it for years. Okay, I think uh, is Sam on the call? No. I think he's the only one from maintainers who's not using it, so I will ping him. There might be some people from the other teams, so I will try to give them some time to enable it as well before we enable it on the organization. And then the last thing I added was uh, about the Zookeeper as Kafka feature gate. So as some of you know, I played last week a bit with the Zookeeper as Kafka in 2.8. And I created this really bad code change where the code is really crap on many places but it allows you to use a feature gate to basically deploy Kafka without Zookeeper. And I wondered if that's something what we should somehow try to keep to be able, because if you configure the Kafka like that, there will be a lot of things which you will need to work on, like the topic operator and uh, fixing the rolling updates and readiness probes and so on. So I was wondering if having something like this merged into the into the main code base, whether that could make it easier to work on these tasks or whether we don't care about it or what's the plan to address this. And it's a bit weird because to be honest, the code I have there does some work, but it's definitely not something what I would expect to use for production. So it's really, just more something to help us during the work on the other tasks. Yeah, I think we can expect this to sort of um, go on for a while. Um, and so I'm inclined to think that this is a good idea because it would allow us to merge the work behind a feature gate and basically say, yeah, it's, you know, completely not ready for people to actually enable, um, but it would allow us to make progress towards that goal. Um, can I have a look at that branch um, and get back to you on the sort of the, well, are you going to turn that into a PR is I guess what I'm asking. Well, so if you want to think about it first, then you can have a look at it and let me know. Mm -hmm. Or I can open a PR and you can have a look at it in the PR. Yeah, open a PR, then anyone else can comment too. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, I didn't really wrote the code with the assumption of having this as the production code, right? So, yeah, yeah. I'll, it I'll, is, it, it is what I'll it be is. gentle. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay, I guess that brings us towards the end of the call. Anyone has anything else they want to open or discuss? Going once, going twice. Okay, so I guess that's... Uh, that's it for today. We're quite fast given how many points we had on the agenda. Thanks everyone. Thank you.